Al Hair Studio. This is where my sister works. And she's preparing over there, so I can do my hair. If you're wondering where my kids are, they're with their dad. Right now, and we're gonna get started. This is my hair right now. It's super long. It took me forever to grow it out. It pretty much took me two kids <laughs> to grow it out. So this is my hair right now. It's super long. I love it so much. I'm scared to go lighter, but I feel like it's gonna look beautiful. So yeah. Okay, so I put on Instagram to ask us questions and Jessica asked, what is the most annoying part about having a sister? What's the most annoying for you? Probably like, I don't know, like having to share clothes or something. Like when you would borrow my clothes without asking and I would see you. Like. <laughs> so she would go to school in the morning and back then, I don't know if you guys remember, but back then the middle schoolers would go earlier than the elementary and she'd come home after school or I'd come home because she would get out like at 2.45 and I would get out like at 3.20 and she would be, and I would be wearing her clothes and she would get so mad. It was yeah, so funny. I hated that. For what me, I um, I think, I think it's really awesome having a sister, honestly. It is, but like, like annoying, something annoying. annoying. Like I would boss you around maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, at the beginning, like, she, uh, like when we were small she would boss me around and stuff but mm. yeah I don't think it's I was one. never bad to you though oh, I see you guys she would choke me if I wouldn't help her clean the room <laughs> like she'd grab a towel and she would choke me with a towel <laughs> she, <laughs> she would fucking choke me and I would never tell on her. You but better yeah. not. You, it's because we would always like meet up. You yeah. Know? And it's because you would annoy me. <laughs> like I remember just feeling like so annoyed, you know, <laughs> that I was like, oh my, shut the fuck up. One time she told me that <laughs> she was moving out. Yeah, I was like running away. She was like, I'm running away. I'm leaving. She's like, this and that. I and I started talking. crying and I started cr I started crying because I was like no don't leave me we're still here almost this done this piece left only. there's just this piece left it's like an hour and a half later favorite child memory I think that Christmas party we had and we did a performance for our family. Oh yeah. That's when we were small, I'm gonna explain it to them. Um, we bought like some snow cones or no some snow cones. Okay, some when like we were Christmas young, cones. We we decided to do like a like a dance show for our family for Christmas. And we bought like the candy canes, remember like the Oh yeah, sticks? they were like um three feet candy canes and like we just made a performance in front of all of our family and it was like all of our cousins like our close music, cousins we did like a dance routine like, <laughs> it was so funny it, it was so, so funny but like, it's like a memory like we'll never forget yeah mine is definitely that one too yeah my dad was here at that time too yeah like the whole family was there now we think about it and it's kind of like embarrassing a little bit it was fun. My favorite child memory is like when we would go um, dinosaur hunting. <laughs> we would make sandwiches and then we would take our bar. We lived out like in a, or we wouldn't live. We would go visit a lot our uncle from. Um, we lived out in the country. In the like. country and there was a lot of land and we would make our sandwiches and we would take our Barbie um, laptop, laptop that, didn't that didn't have batteries <laughs> and we'd get rocks and then come back home <laughs> and just do research on the yeah. on the rocks this and then with yeah, our cousins like with all of our Sergio, cousins yeah. Yeah. so an another question is who would get in trouble more um, 
Who would it be? I when we like were small, small? I feel like trouble with our parents was Vero. Yeah. And then trouble at school was me. Yeah. So trouble with our parents, it was me. And at school, it was my sister. She was always the fighter. <laughs> Um, what do you see yourself doing in five years? Five years, I see myself married, having kids, with like maybe two kids. We're done for now. She has so much hair. So I added the toner to her hair. You can start seeing that it looks more neutral already. Usually this sits for like 10 to 20 minutes. So we're gonna wait 10 to 20 minutes? Yeah, it's been like eight already. Sorry again. It, this is my favorite tool to use. It's uh, a babeless uh, straightener, flat iron. And you curl my hair with that, right? Yes, you can straighten and curl. I like that, like it warms up all around. Mm like all around the barrel like this gets warm too mm -hmm. so you're able to like curl the curl hair it. and it gets use it as a strainer uh -huh. and curl the hair so that was for the question that they asked me what's the favorite tool to use when styling and this is my final look oh my goodness guys i'm so happy with the result final product it looks so bomb oh,